Hello, everybody. Lev Farmer Seven Three. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Starting the weekend off right. Thank God, cause I'm exhausted. I know I say this all the time, but look at my face. I'm exhausted. I will not be on here long. I had to get this out though. Uh. <laughs> Um, hey, how you doing, J.A. Judah? What's going on? Uh, Lisa Washington, how y'all doing tonight? Uh, alive and prosperous. I am Janet Alexis, Evangelist Bonique, Chanel Sherman, Melissa, uh-oh, is moving. Carmel won a lot of numbers. Jay, <laughs> stop kitchen. Sure aware. Gardening with me, Jamil Wilkins, truly our, our agarant. See, watch. I'm going to only be on here for a minute. Are we tasting yet? Yeah, we ain't got there yet. Oh, you but, still greeting us. Oh, yeah. No, I'll come back. I just was didn't want to miss it, but take your time. <laughs> I told you, man. When it comes to these grannies, boy, it's coming. She got the... Chill. I, I can just check this. I'm a here. You want you want a, just a little starter piece? I mean, I can wait. I just was. Trying you need to a little taste before the just dinner is done. Okay, just a little bit. Here, get a little taste before dinner. Mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, go on, take that with you. There's plenty more. Hey y'all, y'all like my shirt? <laughs> now come here, show you 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 baby. Show you. Hey, so, Gigi's Natural. They can't see your hey, head. Hey, y'all. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, y'all. Yeah, they're just looking at your junk. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, listen, I'm going to get right into it because she want me to go to bed. She did, I, she did not want me to go live because I'm feeling kind of under the weather and I'm kind of tired. So, um, I'm going to get right into it. As you can see behind me. I done lost control. I done lost control. And I got boxes all over the place that I got to clean up. Um, let, let that beautiful hair go. <laughs> so, I'm going to ask y'all some questions today. Instead of me always be, uh, waiting on questions, me, y'all asking me, I'm going to ask y'all. Um, let me see. I thought I seen something. Okay. I want to buy a fruit tree. Don't know where to start. Um, that's a, you don't know what, you want to buy a fruit tree and you don't know where to start. First thing you need to do is go buy a bucket. I just did a, a, a video on buckets. Go get you a container and we'll go from there. Email me. Okay. We'll go from there. And I'm, cause when I, when you email me, ask, hey, turf, what's going on, man? Uh, then we can go from there. You ask me what, you know, what kind of soil, what kind of tree I need to know where you live at. All of that stuff take, you know, factors in. So I'll be able to help you out with that. Okay. But hello, everybody. I just wanted to let y'all know we just got banana trees. Don't, if, don't plant them outside yet. Wait till spring, put them in a. Put them in a container. I don't care where you live right now, unless you're down in Florida in the islands. Uh, it's BK Patrick. Started garden in February because of you. Thank you so much. Good. Turf therapy in the house. I'm, I'm just glad you're gardening. You ain't even got to give me no credit. Just as long as you're doing it, thank God. All of us need to be gardening. All of us need to be growing something. Uh, should I bring my trees inside, J.A. Judah? It, it depends on what kind of trees you got and where you live at. Um, down here, certain trees do not need to come in the house. Um, certain trees can stay outside. Hey, Gigi's Natural, how you doing? Little lady, it's good to see you. Got my citrus in buckets for the winter up here in Maryland. It depends. Oh, your citrus, that's good. Uh-uh. J.A. Judah, ATL. Okay, J.A. Judah. Uh, email me, okay? Because I think we spoke before, all right? 
So some of your trees don't have to come in because you you right next door to me. I used to live in Kennesaw. So I well I actually lived all around Atlanta. But I, I mainly lived in Kennesaw area. You, it's a lot of stuff you do not have to take in the house. You can pretty much be doing stuff just like I'm doing right here. Uh, let me see. Mad Farm said, boy, y'all was bugging and had us bugging out with the last pomegranate tasting. Let me tell you something. We did that. Of course, I purchased these. All right. When I said what I said, I meant it. I don't know if you caught the last video. When I said that 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 thing was so delicious it made me do this it made me do this now i'm gonna answer a few questions that um you guys been asking me all through the week yeah we was cutting up because that that thing was good you hear me i i've eaten it let me see this because i just bought this for the for the um for her, really. See, these seeds in this one is a little harder. A lot of people say, y'all eating the seeds? The one I had, that wonderful, you couldn't taste no seeds. There was no give. I mean, there was no resistance. It was like pure fruit. That's why I was just eating it like, kind of like an apple. It was like pure fruit. I'm going to see if this is a wonderful. See, I don't know what kind of pomegranate this is, but the seeds are a little harder in this one. They have some resistance. Can I grow pomegranate in a large container? Yes, you can. That's what I'm here to answer today. Pomegranates grow great in a container. Yes, you can. Some of these I bought just so I could put in containers just to show you that. So some of these are going in containers. Now, here's another question. We answered that right there. Pomegranates grow great in containers. I've done it for years. Trust me. Before this, I, I got old videos to show that too. Uh, can I grow a pomegranate in a Home Depot bucket? Any kind of container. A container is a container. You can grow a pomegranate in any kind of container. Yes, you can in a Home Depot bucket. What's wrong? These are big seeds. Yeah, I was just telling them these seeds ain't like ours. These, keep them. Now, hmm, hmm. You got it? I think I bit it. I don't know. Well, don't, don't throw them out. But I'm going to show y'all this. Blech. Yeah. This one ain't like ours. I'm going to try to clean that up the best I can without being gross. I'm going to show y'all that, okay? You see that seed? Let me put it in the palm. You can see a little bit. Yeah, right. This one, this, you hear that? You can hear it. Listen. Listen close. Shh. Don't stop moving so they can hear it. Listen. You hear that? Listen. You hear how hard that is? Ours was not like that. At all. But that is a good thing. Trish said, hey, look lady. Look how big lady. that is. Yeah, look how big hey, that is. Okay, now here's the thing, right? It was hard. It's, this is hard like a rock. I'm chewing that like a popcorn kernel that ain't really pop good, you know. Yeah. Off topic, but I, I'm gonna get to that. Uh, yes, you can grow grapes in a bucket. Yes, you can. I've done it before. I grew muscadine. Stop giving me all these in my hand. <laughs> so here's the other. Here's the other question. While we're on the seeds, this is one of the fruits, which is make this even sweeter, that you can grow from seed and still get a pomegranate early. You will not be waiting your, a lifetime to get these fruit. And the fruit will taste decent. You, nine times out of 10, you will not get the exact same fruit you're eating. Yes, you can air layer a pomegranate. And I am going to air layer those wonderful that I got outside in the yard because they are so, that, that taste was so incredible. So you can grow them from seed. You know, I'm always like, nah, don't bother growing from seed. I won't do it. This is one you can. Loquat, pomegranate, 
These are a couple of things you can grow from seed and get good fruit. So when you spit those seeds out, let them dry on a napkin. Let them dry on a napkin. And you plant them just like you plant any other seeds or you save them like you save any other seeds. And you can grow your own pomegranates from the store. Just like that. And it won't take forever to get fruit. My daughter did it. That was her experiment. She was a little girl at the time, too. So it was a total experiment. It was like a daddy learning from his baby because I had no idea. Hey, two Max in a pack. Little Slice of Paradise Homes there said Isis Nursery has pomegranate. Yes, they do. And I have ordered several from Isis Nursery. And then you know the quality there. I, I got so many trees out there from Isons that I'm 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 locking down and getting to the point where I'm like, you know what? I know what works for me. I know what company works for me. Just like, hey, what's up, uh, eco neighbor? Where'd he go? Oh man, and I missed him. Hey, Sophie B. Miss Eco, where you at, bro? Misty, damn, I don't know where you at. So that's to answer that question. I have a sweet potato that is growing vines simply as putting in soil. Yep, it's, it's that simple. Hey, love notes, how you doing? <clears throat> I feel a little better already. She gave me some turmeric and some ginger and some moringa tea. So y'all excuse me, this moringa tea, I'm gonna be sipping it. So. What's the best fruit shrub bush for a beginner? A blueberry. And normally I don't answer questions like that because it just depends on the person. I can't tell you what I like, but what's easy to grow? A blueberry, a blackberry. Blackberry, thornless blackberry, super easy, super easy. It's effortless. Blueberries and blackberries. Yes, Mary E., yes, you can. If you would. Uh, let me see. We have Meyer lemon trees indoors starting to bud, but the lemon tree is leggy. You don't do nothing. Leave it alone. It's a baby. How you doing, uh, uh, French wee wee? Yeah. Leave it alone. It's a baby. So don't, don't expect nothing out of it. It needs to be leggy. It needs to grow. Thank you so much, Mary E. Uh, Lori Sanford. Hey, Lee, how, hey, what's going on, Lori? Hey, Game Nerd Mom, how you doing tonight? Uh, we should do a barter and trade. <sighs> Listen, um, where is Ison's Nursery? Go to Ison Nursery and Vineyard.com. Tell them Live Farmer 73 sent you, okay? They'll take good care of you. Ison's Nursery and Vineyard.com. They take real good care of you. Can pomegranate grow in Fort Lauderdale? Fort Lauderdale, Florida? Yes, yes, definitely. They love the heat. They love the heat. Uh, game nurse, I'm doing good out here trying to plant fall crops. That I am too. I got so much stuff to show you. I just need the time. I got to get my garlic in. We got our garlic going. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you all something else. You can grow them from seed. You can grow these pomegranates in containers. And here's a question that somebody asked me just yesterday. And I answered them. Um, okay, before I get to that. Y'all saw me in that video self-pollinating those, uh, those flowers. Everybody said, you ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do that. Why are you pollinating? You do not have to do that. You, you don't. You don't have to do that with no fruit. But it don't hurt. You know what I'm saying? Now, hey, Miss Craft, how you doing? Now, the question is, did it work? No, it didn't for several reasons. Because I was touching all female flowers. None of those had a stamen in them. And now I know that. I know what to look out for. Those flowers are really tight together. Really tight. And you can't see the stamen in the middle. You kind of got to open them up to see that stamen in the middle. If you don't see that, doing all of that ain't going to do nothing for you. 
Because all you doing is just, you, it's two female flowers. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I know it's 2020 and all, but for nature, that ain't going to do nothing for you. Uh, can you put your vendor info in comments? Right now, speaking of vendor uh, info, I am trying to get all my cuttings together and get them situated, sent out, make sure everybody is satisfied and make sure everybody get quality pieces. And so until I, until I do that, I'm kind of putting that on pause. The people that have already purchased from me, I'm making sure they're taken care of 100% first before I send out any more anything, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know that's bad business practices, but in a way, I want to make sure the people that came up first and paid first are taken care of properly before I go forward and sell anything else. And matter of fact, the way I did it, totally wrong. I'm going to just put it back on the website. That way, everything is like, machinery i'm sitting here writing down names and stuff and i call myself telling her oh i can do it myself and she was like i got this i girl i got this no i don't so please be patient and, and forgive me okay but I, i'm i'm putting that on hold for a minute all right uh that ain't how i usually do business and It'll, that'll never happen again. I promise you that. I promise you that. But until I take care of all my people, just put it on pause for a second, okay? I got plenty. I got plenty. So, all right. Back back to action here. Now, um, thank you, Trish. I, you know I love my people, man. We family, man. And you know, that's like stealing money from your cousin. I don't, I don't like that. Uh, Mary E, you just said a male needs a female. It takes both. It does. It's nature. You know, I'm not going to get into the 2020 thing in the new revolutionary. That's, I'm just saying in nature to produce, to produce, you need both. Okay. That's right, Miss Crab. We are family. So you need that male flower. So this is what I found out. It's two things we're going to hit on before I get out of here. One is when I did all of that pollinating with that paintbrush, none of that worked. Thank you, true natives. Thank you so much. I really, I really appreciate that. I really do. God knows I do. Thank you. Guava, my friend. Guava. I needed that turmeric. I do not want to get sick or nothing. Hey, Turf. Welcome to the Greenhouse Lounge. That's right, bro. <laughs> Welcome to the Greenhouse Lounge. Guava. So, right there. That pollinating, that didn't work. Somebody asked me. They said, Led, um, I haven't got fruit. And my tree is like five feet tall. And it's like 15 years old. So many people hit me with that email. So many people look down in the comments in that video. So this is just turmeric tea. I can't do it tonight. I'm trying to, I got to keep my head right and all this stuff going on out there. I don't want to catch that mess. So, uh, oh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm just not feeling, you know, but I'll be fine. So somebody keep, they keep cutting their pomegranate they keep trimming the pomegranate every year and they said they can't grow pomegranate they say i've had it never seen a fruit that's why because your pomegranates grow on the new wood all the new let me pick up one of these little rascals see that nice shiny green right there that is actually the fruiting wood not the old wood. How you doing, Broke Farmer 76? Good to see you, man. That's the new wood. That's what it grows on right here. So every time you cut that off, just like a raspberry or just like a blackberry, you ain't going to get no fruit because that grows on a new or a persimmon. Your fruit grows on that new wood. 
So the best thing to do, like I told somebody else in the email, is this. If you want to get fruit, hey, Busy B, if you want to get fruit every year, the best thing I can suggest is buy two kinds. Thank you, Quincy Cupbert. Thank you. Say my backyard is 20 by 20, but I have about eight trees. My persimmons came in yesterday. Ooh, I know you happy because I'm happy for you. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm, uh, am I overcrowding? Hell no. 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 Put all them fruit in there. Get them fruit in as much space as you can get them, especially these days. Okay? Are you putting them in containers or are you putting them in the ground? French, will we get you some good multivitamins? Now, oh, we got sheep. Trust me, she, she on lock with that. That's her department and she keep me right. Uh, let me see. Palms probably make their fruiting flowers the year before and they bloom the next year. Right. On the on the last year's wood. That's right. Oh, Quincy Cover in a container. You will be fine. Fill up as much space as you can. Man, as a matter of fact, that's another reason we're here is because as you see behind me. I purchased several more. As a matter of fact, mine ain't going to stop coming till December because I'm on back order. I order so much stuff from, uh, hey, uh, oh, oh, family, Grow Family Network in the house, man. Ooh, Grow Family Network. I'm sorry, man. I watched your video today and y'all flooded out. And I'm looking out at my leg like, please, not. I don't want to see that because, man, I trust you know I, I know how that feel. And you seen my video where my leg overflow. So, bruh, y'all take care. If you need me, call me. And you know I mean it. Uh, what kind of container should I put them in, Kia? Kia, I just did a video on containers. Trust me. Go watch that video. It's the one right before this. It's going to tell you everything about what kind of container you can grow in. I promise you on that. Look at the video before, the last one before I did this one, okay? Um... Now, here's the thing with the pollinating thing, which uh, I think that was, ooh, what was your name, sweetheart? What was your name? Uh, it wasn't Kia. Oh, I want to remember your name so much. Oh, oh, uh, uh, no, 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 no. No, that was, no, that was Quincy Colbert. I'm sorry. Putting them close because she, they're in a 20 by 20 space, right? This is what happened to me. I did all that pollinating, nothing, nothing happened. But soon as I planted that uh, parfianca right down next to it, right over top of it is where that pomegranate grew. So that light bulb, right? Because that one had a bunch of little flowers on it too, come to find out. The Parfianca and the White Russian got a bunch of male flowers. Well, not the Parfianca, but the White Russian. Male flowers pollinated the female flowers. They was getting it on. Boom. Pomegranate. What? So my lights went off. And what did I do? I went and got more white pomegranates. I got a, a Eversweet, a white pomegranate, a Utah uh another parfianca and, and and i got a couple things so the more the closer you put them because i'm letting mine grow like a bush now if you're trying to be fancy and make turn it into a tree whole another ball game i want mine to be a big giant bush so i'm planting mine all in the same space super close so they can all grow together hey sherry how you doing so when they all grow together, it's going to be all different colors of the pomegranates. Red, dark red, pink, white, yellow, all in this bush. That's because all those different flowers are going to be pollinating each other. Right? Yeah, man. Hey, Grow Family Network, you watch your tailbone, man. I mean, all right? And I, I meant what I said. You got my number. If you don't, you got my email. Man, brother, holla at me. Uh... Yeah, plant all of those together. All of these you see behind me, I am literally, the reason they're still in the house, I am going to plant them all together. 
all up under one another because I want them all in there getting it on like a P. Diddy party. I mean it. I want them all up under one another like a, a, a old Roman brothel. <laughs> you know? I want them having fun together so I can get more of whatever I had this year. That's right, Eco. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. So I just got one today and I said it's perfect timing because I said I was going live. Thank you, uh, Bray Joy Evans. Say, wait a minute. Hey, Led, Lady Led, love the videos. First time I caught you live, I am canning tomatoes and been canning for over 40 years. Well, look, you know I'm new to the game and I got my setup over there ready. I just need a little bit more time because I got some chicken out there I got to do. So, hey, beauty in the garden. How you doing, little lady? Let me see. Mad Farm says, man, I'm spamming offering sour sop. Oh, come on. Why you don't do that, man? Yeah, don't do that, Mad Farm. Don't do that, bro. Don't spam it. Don't spam it up, man. Come on, partner. <laughs> Uh, uh, game nerd mom said, I'm ready to move soon. This, cl oh, this clay soil and winter's got me fed up. Look, if you still up, you up in Ohio still, man, get out of there. That's going to lead me to another thing. When I'm done with this, I'm going, I'm going to end it with something else. Okay. Yeah. I'm not, we ain't going to say that, uh, Byron, not yet. That's a whole nother story. So. Cutting your pomegranates is going to not is not going to give you fruit because you just cut off all the new wood that's going to supposed to give you fruit the next season. So every time you're trying to cut your pomegranate and make it cute, you ain't getting fruit. You just got a cute shrub. Thank you, uh, Yolanda. How you doing? Hey, French, we thank you so much. David say, hey, give me an update on your cherry tree, lemon tree. I can't believe you have a lemon tree in the ground. It's against everything I've read. And you know what? That's exactly, David, that's an excellent point, my friend. Excellent point. You can't believe everything you read. And I say this all the time. You have to try things for yourself because what I'm doing might not work for you. They said you cannot plant lemon trees in the ground in South Carolina. I go to nurseries right here in my own hometown and they say, yeah, don't put that in the ground. And I show them videos. I show them pictures. And they said, where is this at? I say uh, about a mile away from here. And I prove them wrong every time. I said, I've had lemons in the ground for the last 10 years. So, you know. So, you know. Uh, bro, not spamming literally, brother. Oh, just offering, man, trying to give back to the community. Oh, well, you know what, man, Farm? Put that in the in the uh, community post on Facebook. And everybody can, can jump right in on that. Because, see, if you do it on here, YouTube just going to remove your comments anyway automatically once I cut this off. That's why I did that. I, I dig what you're saying, but I'm telling you, they're going to take it, and I won't be able to find it. They get rid of your stuff. So put it on Facebook, on, on my um, Facebook group, so people can really take advantage of what you have to offer. Okay. So, uh, Turf said, please don't share personal, right, just the personal content, they will take that, man, and get rid of it, nobody ever, and they will block you, it won't be me, it'll be YouTube, so that's why I'm, like, trying to move that, because I don't want you blocked, uh, hey, Led, include me where I start with this, I'm, uh, jumping in, tuning in, where, how much, I don't know what you're asking, uh, Nicole, include me, where I start with this, I'm just tuning in. Where, how, how much cost? For what? The pomegranates? Am I planting onions now? Onions been planted. Did you hear Homestead Heart today having issues with their peach tree? You know what? I did. And I have a, like she said, she said, I know Lev Farmer going to have a lot to say about it. See, when I'm at work, I can only listen 
I can't watch videos, you know, because I'm driving. So I can't, I can't, you know, I heard it. And I do have a lot to say. I just couldn't stop and type. It was a crazy day. I do have a lot to say. And I'm going to just tell you, Homestead Heart, if you're watching, yes, cut all that junk off. Everything she said was right. What I will put it like this. Everything she said is what I would have done. I would have cut all of that off. All of it. Yes. Now, I probably would have air layered some stuff off. But yes, her saying it all need to come off. Yes, it does. How you doing, Kathy? It's good to see you tonight. Now, again, make sure if you, gonna, if you want good pollination, plant other varieties of this pomegranate. It is self-fertile. But if you want a better, better chance at getting some fruit, Get a white pomegranate because all the white pomegranates that I'm seeing, um, I'm reading on them and a lot of them have a lot of male flowers. The deeper, darker red pomegranates usually have a lot of the female flowers. Uh, so let me, uh, let me see. What happened? Um. What happened, Gigi? Let me see something real quick. I miss I miss something. I miss something. So uh okay. They want. Okay, yeah, yeah, that I'm sorry to whoever that is, but yeah. That we can't do that. Not here. So back to the action here. This is what I want to tune out with before I go. And trust me, she timing me. She really want me to go to bed. I said, I'm going to open this. <laughs> and I've been ordering so many of them. I don't know which one this is going to be. So we all going to learn this together. Okay. Get a little sip of this brew. Thank you, Quincy. Thank you so much. Cuthbert. That's so where can I find a pomegranate to site or out of stock? I don't know why. <laughs> but a lot of companies is going out of stock all of a sudden. So right now you find them wherever you can find them. And Ison, if you order in from Ison's Nursery, Ison's Nursery and Vineyard, they're on back order for you know for around December. But quality, okay. Hey, Leah Farmer, when uh, quote quote pepper said, when are you going to make some pomegranate honey? I like pomegranate honey. I don't even know what that is. Uh, Tamika Williams lemon clippings. No, I'm I'm not I'm not selling any lemon clippings, lemon trees. Can you spell the suppliers? I S O N S, I Sons like Sons with an I in the front of it, and Vineyard. Uh, Eco Neighbor said, "Beware, you said that it was going to happen." I missed something. I missed something. Okay. Right. Okay. Jennifer Chris. Hey, Jennifer Chris said, just opened up my dwarf banana and two oranges. Thanks for the inspiration. Anytime, Jennifer. I'm just glad. Yeah, the shortages. I did not say. I, somebody else said, oh, and after this video. Thank you, Turf. Thank you. Turf Therapy just put up the website for Ison's Nursery where I'm getting a lot of this stuff from, where I get a lot of my trees from. That's where it's been, where, where I've been getting them from, okay? I'm glad, to, I'm glad to see you got you a few trees, Jennifer. So get you a couple of different varieties. If you get a red one like a Wonderful or Parfianca, make sure you get a white one because they have the more male flowers, okay? So they can bump uglies and get it on. 
So let's see what's in this box, because I don't know. I truly don't. I didn't even look. I just came through the door. Uh, what? Okay, I missed something. Yeah, things are going right and left. Yes, right now, everybody should be trying to get your garden together for the spring. You Really, right now, we all should are getting ready for the spring. Uh, are any more angel trumpy cutting? Uh, unicorn lady tech, right now, um, I put that on pause because I need to make sure that all of the people that paid already are taken care of, okay? I had way more orders than I ever dreamed of. And I just want to make sure everybody is satisfied before I keep going, okay? If I have any more, it'll I'll put up my website next time. I won't do this ghetto crap I just did. I don't know what I was thinking about. I posted that post like 10 people was going to hit me up. And it, it did. <laughs> it was a blessing and a curse all at the same time. Can you put a peach tree in a container? Yes, you can. And in that video where I show the peach, I mean, the, I put that loquat tree in the container. To show you what kind of containers I was using, I also zoomed right past an avocado, a Mexico La Grande avocado, and I also showed you a uh, Indian blood peach in a container. They're just blood red. So when I zoom at the end, the very end, that's a, a Indian blood peach in a container. It's been in there for over a year now. I've been picking all the little fruits off of it because I do not want it to fruit yet. Uh, French Wee Wee, I need some help. I'm overwhelmed trying to keep up. Well, email me, French Wee Wee, so I can see what you're talking about, okay? Email me at leofarmer73 at yahoo.com so I can see what's going on because I don't know what, what's going on. Uh, bought big buckets you told us about. Plant the trees. My husband can't stop talking about it. Thanks for the information. Thank you, Caprice. See how simple that is? Now, if you're looking to spruce your house up and make it beautiful is one thing. But the dilemma that we in these days, everybody is just trying to grow food. I'm not growing to be cute. So if we're trying to grow to be cute, then you can go spend as much money as you need to. But right now, the desperate, desperate times call for desperate measures. Laundry buckets all day. What's up, damn permaculture food for us. What's up, bro? It's good to see you. Uh, Debbie Thomas in the house. How you doing? Where did you get the fruit cocktail tree? I made it. I graphed myself. I don't buy those anymore. It's ridiculous to pay an extra hundred dollars for any kind of fruit cocktail tree when you can just do it yourself. It just take a little bit of learning and then next thing you know, you grafting everything. Let me see. All right. Let's see what's in this box. Okay. The box is bigger. <laughs> like us fellas. The package is, the package is smaller than what, <laughs> what it looked like. <laughs> this box is talking all that stuff, but the package ain't all, you know. Done got it in the bedroom, done took the clothes off in it. Uh, I don't even know which one this is. I really don't. I've ordered like six to eight different varieties. This, can y'all see that? Yeah. Parfianca. I ordered another Parfianca, and I'm going to be totally honest with you. By total accident, I didn't mean to order another Parfianca at all. But early in the morning when I'm doing stuff like this, when you buying stuff too late at night, in the middle of the night or early in the morning, you just dumb. And I I got several of the same thing because, you know, your fingers go to hitting too much. You ain't sure what you're doing. You ain't got your reading glasses on. It's early. You ain't had your coffee yet. And I wake, I woke up talking about some. I'm getting some more pomegranates. Stupid. So uh let me see. Nia C. 
Yeah, th hey, he and Harvest Grow Lights. What's up, brother? Good to see you in the house tonight. Good to see you. Leah, why do you want your red blood peach tree? Wait, why do you not want your red blood peach tree to fruit yet? Because I want it to get bigger and stronger. That's one of my trees that I paid a lot of money for. And I really want to look after. And it can fruit, but I really want it to get bigger so it can hold hold that fruit and not drop it. And I want it to get bigger in size. So I'm paying a little extra attention to it. I think she put too much, too much ginger in this tea. That tea look got me sweating. Jesus. Either that or it's burning out whatever. Okay, you, you say you got, I finally caught you. Hey, uh, Fab Kitty. <laughs> Your name cracked me up. Uh, yeah, huge fruit. Thank you, Mary E. Fab Kitty. Whew. I almost called it Fat Kitty. I was, <laughs> sound like a, a James Bond criminal. <laughs> I've caught you now, Fat Kitty. So, <laughs> I'm just saying. I love your name. I love it, honestly. So, uh, any questions about the pomegranates? Oh, here's another thing. Yeah, I think the tea broke the fever. Yes, I do. Here's another thing. Um, I've been asked, what do you feed them? What do you feed them? Uh, I'm going to get back to that. Whatever happened to my chocolate trees, they did not make it through the winter. I'm, I'm in a wrong climate for that. They didn't make it through the winter. It was an experiment. They grew, but they didn't make it through the winter. Pear cuttings, what should I do with what should I do with your pear cuttings? Uh whatever you want to do. What 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 you got going on? You might want to email me that, okay? Email me that because now I let me let me get back to it because I lost track of what I was saying. Hold with the fat kitty. <laughs> oh, what do I feed them? Some people ain't getting fruit. They're not trimming theirs. And some people ain't getting fruit because you are not feeding and watering your pomegranate. Put as much organic fertilizer that you can put under your pomegranate tree. Organic fertilizer. Just trust me on that. Stay away from the chemicals. Now, it ain't really necessarily about your health and stuff. Chemicals make the leaves start falling off and they they get weird. I did that years ago. Organic. So make sure you make sure you put any kind of organic food like a, a citrus tone. Um, you're right, it'll burn them up. It'll burn them up. And um, and here's another thing, too. If you live in a colder climate. Sort of colder. You can grow pomegranate. And here's the thing. They're going to burn down to the ground. They might burn. They might burn down to the ground. Hey, Jacqueline. Good to see you. But here's the thing. They will come back from the root and grow this tall in a couple of months. So they will come back. There is no best fertilizer. Uh, Tina Nicole, just make sure it's organic. Okay, get something like Citrus Tone or it's another brand uh, and I got out there and I can't remember what it's called. Um, Walmart sells one, uh, Lowe's sells one and so on and so forth. Just make sure it's organic. Uh, do they need full sun? The more heat, the better. The more heat, the better. Yes. They can take some shade, but the... the uh, more sun, the better. Okay, I'm ready for I'm ready for these questions now. Sophie B said, "Hey, Dan." All right. Uh, thank you so much, Eric. I'm doing my best. I'm sweating like a dog. Whew. Okay. Will pomegranate trees stay small in a pot? No. 
um, it won't. It'll it'll get big and you will have to cut it back, which means you won't get fruit. Say, I live in a uh, simple suburban living. Say, I live in lower desert and have a neighbor with a palm tree that is just loaded with fruit. That's what I can't wait for. What was that? Ooh, simple suburban living. That's what I can't wait for. Just to have tons of these as delicious as the one I ate uh, off my land the other day, that video. Oh my God. Uh, I cannot wait. Where's the guava? Not tonight. Tonight I'm feeling kind of under the weather. So I'm drinking turmeric tea. Turmeric. She got turmeric, ginger, and moringa tea. So yeah, I'm I'm trying to I'm being a good boy tonight. I got it. This is guava enough tonight. I need to feel better. Right to boost my immune system. Uh, to boost my immune system, make a make a chocolate milk with coconut. I ain't doing no milk. I I be done stanked her out the whole bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> doing no milk tonight. No kind of milks. I, I want her laying next to me because she will get up or put me out the room. One or the other. <laughs> Fab Kitty. <laughs> Thank you, Fab Kitty. You would just keep on putting your name up there. But every time I see that, I think, listen, my mind ain't right. So, y'all, I'm my mind is altered from the weird tea i'm drinking so my mind is in the gutter a little bit so okay you sound like a bond girl your name sound like a bond girl ha i see i've caught you again fat kitty <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much fab kitty fab kitty that i and when you say it fast it just always sounds the same uh, Beauty in the Garden said, I have three lemon tree that will not fruit, and I had them for three or four years. Beauty in the Garden, did you grow them from seed? Are they from seed? That's the question I'm asking you. Hey, uh, NJ Cali Gardner, good to see you. Say, Stark Brothers have a sale. Man, let me tell you something about Stark Brothers. They ain't got nothing, though. They got a sale on nothing. They ain't got nothing in stock. They ain't had nothing in stock in a long time. So they sell this probably some stuff from, dude, I seen some berries. And then you got to pay the shipping. They, that ain't, you know, that them my, them my folks, but ain't no, ain't no sale, man. That's just what all they got. That's they almost look like a closeout sale, you know what I'm saying? Where they got the clown out there spinning the sign around like store closing. They need to step their game up. Uh, let me see. Okay, there you go. So, yeah, uh, let me see. Sour shop is great for COVID. Eh. We're going to leave that alone. Oh, Royal Family, uh -uh. I'm going to leave it. But no, look, yeah, take that off. Because, see, I'm going to tell you the true Royal Family. I'm going to tell you why I, I, I took that out, okay? I'm not getting rid of you or nothing. But I had to take that out because if you start telling people that that fixes something for the problem that's happening today you can get in trouble for that you know what i'm saying somebody can come and say oh i took that for that problem and it made me sick and don't do it don't do it okay you don't hear me saying nothing about that and that's why because you can you can get yourself in some trouble telling people that you found something that helps against it and Think about it. Nobody know how to fight it right now. So if you saying that, somebody can come get you. So I'm just kind of watching your tailbone, all right? Don't, you might not want to do that one. I'm not telling nobody nothing about that because don't nobody know. Scientists don't know, so I sure ain't going to say nothing. Uh, 
Okay, I'm I'm looking for Beauty in the Garden again because hey, Crystal, it's good to see you. Um, I'm looking for Beauty in the Garden. She said yes, ladies from C. That's why Beauty in the Garden. If it's from C, there is no telling when you'll ever see fruit from that ever. If you do see fruit, and someday when you do, it's it might taste like a baby toenail. You don't know what you got. Or you might be growing a grapefruit and not even know. Uh, Mary E., why can't I find your email? It's leadfarmer73 at yahoo.com. Um, let me see. French, we, we say, yep, they are uh, censoring everything. See, things is getting too sensitive and walking on eggshells around that. I stay, I stay clear of that. I don't tell people what to help, what's good for it, because nobody knows, you know. Thank, thank you, Mad, uh, Mad Farm. No worries, man. No worries. Just, you know what I'm saying? Things is things is just too weird. And I'm looking, actually, when I do that, I'm kind of looking at, at, you know, out for you because YouTube will get you and remove you for good. Ordering early in, in the morning is dumb. Yes, it is dumb. I do it all the time. Look behind me. Everything I ordered here was in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep or I woke up too damn early or woke up and while I was watching y'all videos, like I was watching Homestead Heart video and this morning and I ordered something else. Stupid. Stupid. I'm watching the video and ordering. And then I look at my bank account like, what the hell? Totally forgot. I didn't know what was in that box. I can't even write late night foolishness, eco neighbor. Yes. I can't even call and be like, listen, I, I did not order this and y'all need to take this back. I got two of them right here. I promise you. I promise you. I don't know where these came from. I don't know what store. I don't know nothing but some money is missing out of my account. <laughs> I don't know nothing about these. Uh, I don't even know which one this is. I don't even know. Oh, ever sweet, uh, ever sweet uh, pomegranate. I don't know. That's one of them nice. Like, oh, that sounds delicious. Click, put it in the cart. Ooh, dude, that sounds like I oh I would love to taste that click. See, this is the dumb stuff I do when I'm online. Instead of me like putting it, making my own little favorite list, I put it in my cart so I don't lose it or forget it. But then my dumb tailor turn around and hit pay. You big dummy. So uh little slice of paradise home says that I just ordered my pomegranate. When is the best time to plant it? I would really, the weather has been so crazy, y'all. And everybody keep asking me, when should they plant stuff? A uh, little slice, you live by me. I would still wait till spring just to be safe. Because if you pay all this money, everything is expensive now. If you pay all that money um, and then it die, you're going to feel kind of, kind of dumb, just hint of dumb. Um, let me see who just said that. Dell, the elements, Dixie's Garden on Amazon. The elements. Okay, that's that's where I think one of them came from. I think these uh, ever sweets came from there. It was something to that nature. It's, that sound familiar? No. Um, B pre. Be pre, I'm going to tell you this. If you're asking for my opinion on that TY place, let me tell you something. I wouldn't buy no gumballs out the machine from that place. I'm just saying. Now, you might know different than me, but I've dealt with them never again. Thank you, Miss Craft. Beauty in the Garden. I, I must have missed something, Beauty in the Garden. I'm sorry. But Matt, Beauty in the Garden, just email me Beauty in the Garden, please. Please, just 
I sound like dude the club owner. Come on, girl. You gonna email me? Just email me. I, I got something for you. Um, I think uh I think TY means thank you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. Oh, GG's never said never again. Okay, that means thank you. I'm sorry. I thought you was we was talking about nurseries. That one. If this was the old school mob, you know what that meant. Sleeping with the fishes. Hey, uh, Terry Lynn 70. How you doing tonight? Yeah. Yeah, not that one. Not that one. I don't. Now, I like to send people to places that's going to give you quality, good service. Good customer service is everything to me. I'm going to tell you this. And this is my truth. You can give me a mediocre product. You can give me a mediocre product and I won't I won't lose my cool on that. Your customer service is everything. I learned that when I was a kid on my first job. Your customer service is even more than your product. Do you understand cuz you your product ain't going to always be perfect. People right now, some of them, some people, and y'all watching me right now say, Led, I got it in the mail and it finally did come and it's, it's soggy and it smells like feet. Is this right? And I'm like, no. I can either send you out another one or I can get your money back right now. Ain't no question. I, I'm not going to question you. I'm not going to be like, well, send me three pictures of it, a sample of it, and no. No. If you care about your people, because without your customers, without your people, you are nothing. Don't care what kind of product you selling. You could be selling the best product. But if you are terrible to your customer or you terrible to your friend, your product don't mean nothing if it don't sell. Your customer service is everything. Your, your product. Look, look, think now, think. Okay, when I was young, I used to sell vacuum cleaners. I'm not going to tell you what kind, but y'all know the kind of vacuum cleaner that people sold back in the day. I used to go door to door and sell vacuum cleaners. Everybody know I don't need a vacuum cleaner that costs $2,500 in 1989. That is crazy. What is that? Like the equivalent of today of paying like, you know, $4,000 for a vacuum cleaner? Think about how dumb that sounds. But if you make that person feel good and you tell them I will take care of you and you actually do it, they will buy your product. They'll take care of you and you take care of them. Customer service, not that one, uh, Sherry, the other one. Start with a K. Your customer service is everything. And these nurseries, I stick with the people that take care of me. I don't care how great your quality is of your product. If I call you and say I have a problem and you tell me, okay, um, what you want me to do about it? Uh, you know, uh, when you dealing with things that's perishable like this, you should have thought ahead. Yes, Jenny. Yes, Jenny. You should have thought ahead. You're selling perishables. So you need to have enough stock in line to replace it. That's why I told you I can't sell no more until I make sure all my people is good. You know what I'm saying? I got enough to take care of my people. That's everything. I got one right now. Uh, it should be. It's around here somewhere. Uh, who just said that? Uh, NJ Caddy. I got one too, bro. It's in the other room because they did have good. That was a good product. But only thing is, I didn't pay twenty five hundred dollars for mine. I paid twenty dollars for mine at the Goodwill. <laughs> One day was brand new. That's all. That's a whole nother ball game, though. Uh, back in the day, uh, they were fantastic. They still are. They still are fantastic. Yes, I shop at the Goodwill. When I seen that, a little bit of pee came out. I peed a little bit. Ow! Ow! I didn't care if they worked or nothing, because I was so good back in the day. I worked on them, and I used to fix them and everything. So I knew I could fix it. If something was wrong with it, and it was excellent, came with the shampoo and everything. Uh, 
Yeah, just a little tinkle, right? When it's just a little pee, it's a tinkle, a drop. You know, not enough to get your drawers smelling like a, 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 a old folks home, but you know, you shouldn't wear them too much longer. That kind of thing. Yeah, you need to go home, take them off. Okay. Right. Uh, let me see. I saw uh, New World. I sold them in 1989 as well. Boy, that was. Hey, wasn't that something? I know. I, I, I'm so, <laughs> sorry. Be pre. So just saying. Thanks, man. The info is on on it here. Thank you, Be pre. Thank you so much. Let me get back. Any more questions? Yeah, it still works. Uh, but I can't figure out how to fix the bells that keep snapping. I'm going to tell you right now. So it's been in the closet for Terry Lynn. I'm going to tell you right now. Look on the spindle and feel it. If it's not smooth and you might feel one little burr, feel it and see if it's a little burr where that belt uh, wrap around that spindle. And if it's a burr on there, take a little bit of sandpaper and sand it because all it needs is a little bit of burr and it will tear that belt up. Trust me on that. I got your back. Um, and it will always, it will, that, I've had that happen. So, uh, <laughs> Fab Kitty, <laughs> Fab Kitty says, uh, Led, so should I wait to plant the pomegranate and citrus trees? I just received the citrus trees and, um, can I see the roots 18 inches tall? Listen. I'm going to say this, like this one here, okay? Like this guy. See that? It's That's not even in a pot. It's just a root ball wrapped up. I'm going to put this in a little bit bigger container, and then I'm going to leave it like that all winter. Even though it stays hot down here all winter, I don't know what the weather about to do. We getting hurricanes and tornadoes. You see my people down in Louisiana, the New Orleans Gardener, uh, Grow Family Network down in Louisiana, they... They get hit with a lot of storm. We're right. That those storms hit us too. We just hit, get the tail end of it. I'm not planting anything like this right now. So I'm going to repot this in a little bit bigger pot and just wait till spring. Because they will wash away. I live, I live, my land is like an island. That's why I call it the island. Because I'm surrounded by water. My most of my land is surrounded by water. My stuff washes away more often than I care to mention. Hey, Sugar Lily. Uh, let me see. Sherry McMillan, we got it coming our way. We in Mississippi. Okay. Okay. That's Lady Led's uh, spot, stomping ground. It's coming. So I'm saying just everything that you got right now. Good night, David. Everything that you got right now. Um. Oh, Vicky Roberts. Everything that you got right now, I will put in a container just, just to be safe. Things are just weird right now. Now, Vicki Roberts, do I use grow lights? You know what? I didn't used to until I met my friend Hidden Harvest Grow Lights. If somebody, anybody can write that down. I got a friend here on YouTube. He specializes in grow lights he make them himself he manufactures them himself hidden harvest grow light hidden harvest grow light here on youtube he even has a lot of um uh giveaways where he will give away grow lights if you go check out his channel yeah, he's in here right now somewhere. If you go check out his channel, he has a lot of giveaways and his prices is rock bottom. The same lights that he sells, you're going to go anywhere on online and pay double or triple that price. He got good stuff. And I have some in here myself. And I did a video uh, maybe two months ago or so on that. Okay. Hidden Harvest Grow Light. Please go check him out. If you're looking for grow lights, I just bought an indoor grow tent and I got his grow lights and I'm about to hook all that stuff up 
and get that going so I can start growing a few things inside over the winter. Hey, uh, Helen Lee. Aloha to you, too. <laughs> Good night, um, Milka. Americas. That sounds like Milka, Americas, Maximus, Meridius. Good night. Have a nice night. It's lurking, listening. Two family homes there. there. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I do it all the time. I do it all day, actually. How you doing, Melissa? So no more questions on the pomegranates? Whoever is in the path of a hurricane, please be safe and alert. Thank you, Lynn Olivery. Uh, uh, Olivery. I, I can't pronounce that. That's a that's a lot of liveries. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you for that. Two family homestead. Thank you so much. I was, you know what? I normally don't be paying it attention. Thank you, Robin Williamson. But tonight. I was like, who going to get this one? Who going to catch him? And who said it? Two Family Homestead caught that. Two Family Homestead caught that. She was the, They were the first one to say who that was. That guy right there, a lot of us grew up with him right there. That was one of the best movies in the world it still is this is one of the ones I make my kids watch to this very day what kind of pomegranates did I get uh, I got a parfianca clearly I see now um, uh, I got a, a white pomegranate a parfianca a Utah a white a Utah something. Utah sweet. A ever sweet. And a big white pomegranate. Really remind me of a bunch of bad kids. <laughs> Gremlins. Thank you, Beauty in the Garden. Beauty in the Garden, make sure you email me. I got something for you. Wish we could grow pomegranates here. Two family homes there. Where do you live? My son is going to watch it for the first time tonight. Oh, make sure he watch it. I'm telling you. I made my kids watch it. They loved it. Not part two or three. Just that one. Stripe is the man. You know what? Don't feed it after midnight. Look, look. You know what? <laughs> I ain't going to say I ain't going to say what, what I was thinking about. I used to say that all the time, though. About something completely else, different. Don't feed that thing after midnight. <laughs> Turn into a monster. <laughs> oh, Turn into a monster on you. <laughs> Ooh. Make sure she ain't listening. That thing after midnight, son. No, don't feed it after midnight, boy. <laughs> I'm get your back, bro. <laughs> Okay, French, we, we have a nice night. I know. I'm sorry. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. So, no more pomegranate. Listen, let me tell you something. A dirty mind is a healthy mind. You got to keep You gotta keep one foot in the gutter, one foot on the sidewalk. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it make a full healthy relationship. Uh, Stripe was the mean grin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was. Uh, Lady Lea put pomegranate on tea. No, I'm eating the pomegranate straight up. Thank you, Toya Story One. Yes, white pomegranate. It is white. Look it up. It's white. With instead of them being red like that. Red with a white seed, they are white with a red seed. And I got it because I thought that was kind of dope. Here, Crunch. Mm. So I thought that would add. Oh, and the skin 
on the white pomegranate, the skin is white too. So yeah, I, these seeds are hard and I don't want to eat these, but also don't want to be spitting them out all on camera like, a, hear that? I'm a, what, I'm, what I'm going to do, no problem, Toya story. What we're all going to do is go get you a pomegranate from the grocery store. You eat that good juice. And you spit them seeds out. What I do with them seeds? I ain't going to chew. Here, here we go. They done dried out already too. Spit them seeds out. Let them dry for a day. And go plant them and watch what happens. That's what we're going to do. And trust me, you're going to have something to look like that in no time. Watch how fast it grow. And then watch how fast it flowers, where it blooms. You won't believe it. You won't believe that you, you just grew that from the store. Now, some things, like I said earlier, and this definitely go for beauty in the garden. Beauty in the garden. Um, You can... Grow some things from seed and get that return. Some things, you, you, it's a hell of a gamble. I mean, see, Josie B, I bought my pomegranate from Walmart and getting ready to plant. That nine times out of ten, even when they just say pomegranate, usually it's a wonderful pomegranate. Uh, leave, leave them seeds indoors for the fall and winter. Pomegranates won't survive here in zone 5B. Oh, I'm sorry. So, yeah, most definitely. How do you like the wonderful pomegranate? Best pomegranate I ever had in my life. The one I ate out there in my yard. Best pomegranate I ever had in my life. Hands down. Uh, what's in the cup? Just tea tonight. I'm feeling well, I'm feeling a lot better now. Hell, we've been on here for 72 minutes. I'm sorry, yo. I was just trying to. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna be. I didn't have no track of time. We can get out of here. Um, I put my pomegranate in the garage in the winter. That's what I would do if I lived in a colder climate because they will come back. Yeah, I'm having a good time. I always do. And, and, and I want to say that to you guys. Uh, when we do these long videos, when I end up doing these long videos, it's not that I'm trying to teach you nothing or, or, or nothing like that. It's usually just, I'm just having a good time. I'm talking to my friends. And when you talking to your friends, when your friends come over to your house, do you be like, now some of them you do, but do you be like, all right, sucker, you got an hour, what you got to say? It's kind of hard for me to do that because we, we start getting here, chatting it up, having a good time, and it end up all right, socializing like we at the club, usually we have a little sippy sip and things go a little overboard. How deep do you plant your seeds? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm i sorry. Let me read that right there because right back there, Fat Kitty says, I'm so glad to catch you live. I know Fat Kitty had a good time. Now, I read that right after that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get over it. Uh, Benet Miller. How deep do I plant my seeds? It, like in the ground. Uh, it it depends on what kind of seeds you're you're planting. Okay. Hey, Miss Mama, daughter, sister, I, I missed you somewhere in here. Yeah, some of y'all caught that, some of y'all didn't. Um, it depends. <laughs> Let me get my head out the gutter. It depends on what kind of seeds you're sowing. Some you can just like lettuce. We just sprinkle that right on top. We don't even bury that. And some need to go down a little deeper, okay? Some need to go deep. So, okay, I'm definitely, I know, Tina, I'm sorry. 
I'm definitely going to turn my notification because this is really a good time. Thank you so much. We always have a good time in the Greenhouse Lounge. Come in here, have a good time. I'm going to get out of here, though, because now that I'm feeling better, I do think I better go lay down. I just wanted to show you all my little new pomegranate. I can't, you can't tell me nothing right now. I didn't know what it was going to be. Yeah, it said deeper than deep. <laughs> uh, thank you, guys. Everybody, I want to say have a wonderful night. Wow, white pomegranate and never saw one. I I have. What? Let me let me tell you something real quick. Here we go, y'all. There go lead. Everybody keeps when they end up having a good time on their channels too. Homestead Heart, Cheryl's Organic Food Forest, uh, 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 Lady Lindo, New Orleans Gardener, uh, um, um, Grow Family Network. Y'all start going over and say, "Uh, oh, I'm pulling the lid." It's okay. <laughs> We, that mean you having a good time, man. That mean you getting, you loving your people and y'all having a good time. That's all that mean. Ain't nothing wrong with it. And people ain't got to rewatch it, you know, if they don't want to. We just having a good time. O.P. Uh, Ison's Nursery, right. So, uh, okay, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. I grew up eating white pomegranates. Oh, that's what we was talking about. White pomegranates. They grow wild, and I did a video a year or two ago, and this lady got a pomegranate tree the size of this room, a bush, with literally hundreds upon hundreds of pomegranate on it. And you know what I used to do every day on my route? Grab about two of them and eat them while I'm walking, delivering, because I was on a walking route, walking, delivering my mail, eating pomegranate. I got I got pecans on my route. I got pomegranates on my route. Blackberries, blueberries. By the end of the day, I don't gotta spend no money for lunch, and it's healthier. So everybody, everybody have a wonderful night. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all go because I can't stop sweating. I need to go lay down somewhere because I gotta go do this again in the morning. Uh, what did you say about the seeds? Um, plant them, spit them out, and plant them. Y'all have a wonderful night. Do the pomegranates fall off when they're ripe? No, you got to take them off. Thanks for that question. That's a good question. No, you got to take them off and you got to know when they're ripe. And I'm glad you asked that. Because this kind of tells you when it's ripe. When that's dry and kind of kind of like leathery, that means it's ripe. Dry down here. If you watch that video with uh, where I did the pomegranate, I made sure this was leathery and this was dark and dried up too. Because if that's still white around there and this still look like a flower, it ain't done yet. Y'all have a wonderful night, okay? Whew, I am burning. I don't know what she put in here. It's, it's making me sweat. Whatever had me feeling weird all day, it's sweating out. So y'all have a wonderful night, okay? Be safe. Wear a mask if you believe in that. Wear a mask. Ain't gonna hurt. Even if you don't believe it, wear a mask. Guava, everybody. Have a wonderful night, okay? Y'all know I love you. You and Lady Lynn, good night. Good night, y'all. Good night. If you have any other questions about pomegranates, I would love to share everything, all the knowledge I know, and all the stuff I've learned over the last few months. Put in the comments, and I'll be right on top of that. Okay? Because this is one you need in your garden. This right here, you'll see. You'll see. When you, once you taste that, you'll be like, oh, okay. Okay, Leah was right about this one. Now, I don't know about the persimmon. Leah was right about this one, though. Okay, everybody have a wonderful night. Leah from the 73, I love you, and I'm out. Okay, and for my friend, Fab is Fab Kitty. Fab Kitty, you made my night. Because <laughs> that name is off the chain.
Thank you, Fab Kitty. Fab Kitty is the lady of the order, person of the night. Everybody say, bye, Fab Kitty. Thank you, Fab Kitty. You made our night wonderful. Good night. <laughs> Good night. I love y'all. Y'all mess. Yeah, bye, Fab Kitty. I want to write it myself, too. Good night, Fab Kitty. You my lady of the night or my person of the night. Fab Kitty. I'll put it in caps, too. Good night, Fab Kitty. We all thank you here in the Greenhouse Lounge. You made our night. You the new Bond girl. Good night, Fab Kitty. You wonderful. Everybody have a wonderful night. Somebody said uh, pomegranate is Solomon had gold goblets with pomegranates engraved in them. I believe it. Good night, Fab Kitty. Good night, everybody. Everybody have a wonderful Friday. Go get with somebody you love. Kiss them on the cheek. No, I mean, unless you're social distancing, don't be kissing, folks. Go tell somebody you love. There you go. Call somebody, tell them you love them, because you never know if you won't see them tomorrow. Okay, Land Farmer 73, I love you and good night.